Let's move on to, to uh, deroxamil fumarate. Patricia. Well, uh, this is uh, basically contains, it's a prodrug that has monomethyl fumarate, which is the active agent of dimethyl fumarate. It's packaged differently. Uh, this was studied in Evolve MS2, which was a trial that entered about 506 relapsing MS patients. It was only a five-week trial. They were randomized to dimethyl fumarate, 240 milligrams uh, PO twice a day, or diroxamel fumarate, uh, 462 milligrams twice a day. So that's two capsules twice a day versus the one capsule twice a day. And the primary outcome was gastrointestinal symptoms rated on a daily scale. They were significantly less with diroxamel fumarate compared to dimethyl fumarate. The dropout rate due to side effects of GI was much less with diroxamel fumarate. So in other words, this is a different packaged DMF that decreases significantly the GI side effects of DMF. And you don't need to take it with food. You don't need to take it with the food. This has now been approved. It's on the market here. I think right now it's being suggested that if there was somebody who you would want to start DMF, but they had GI issues, you could consider using diroxamel fumarate. Uh, or if somebody starts DMF and they have GI issues, you could switch them. It's interesting. Is it available in Europe? It's not approved at the moment in, in the UK, but uh, I think that at least in my practice, gastrointestinal disturbance is probably one of the main reasons that people discontinue um, dimethyl fumarate, at least in the first couple of months of treatment. And uh, I do see this as being uh, potentially an attractive treatment option in patients who, um, Patricia says, don't tolerate dimethyl fumarate or, or those who have uh, irritable bowel syndrome or other gastrointestinal comorbidity, you may want to start this um, in, in preference to dimethyl fumarate. Sven? We also have not an approval yet, but um, I think it's uh, a very valuable option. I also don't understand why we continue then with Tecfidera if we can have it without the side effects. So this is a bit exactly. <laughs> hard to understand. But um, I, I have to say, uh, patients starting on Tecfidera without side effects are very happy with this drug. And so we do see, or a certain percentage of patients starting the drug, but they have to stop because of side effects. If we can now significantly reduce these side effects, I think this will be um, fantastic 